In 1988, Pragco introduced what they called the most significant breakthrough in lure finishes ever. The G finish. Today on Retro Basket, we are going to look at the cataloged history of this most epic of lure colors, as well as detail some rather exciting news in the world of G finish, courtesy of Lornet. Well, let's go ahead and start with my first look at G finish which came in this catalog, the 1988 Bass Pro Shops Master Catalog. I have most years of this, and it's a really great reference, especially on a subject where I'm a little bit spotty on the history, to figure out exactly when a lure or lure line was first introduced. I went back as far as the 1987 edition of this, and there was no such thing as G-Finish, but coming to 1988, there is a pretty glorious one-page spread on the brand new G-Finish baits. Being that this is Pradco and it does encompass a number of different lure brands, there are actually some versions of Hedden, Rebel, as well as Cotton Cordell G-Finish baits. I'm going to go ahead and read the text on this because it gives a little bit of an insight into exactly how they came up with that G-Finish as well as what that G means. All right, well, it does say new for 1988, the most significant breakthrough in lure finishes ever. At the turn of the century, early lure makers decorated their lures with silver paints, carefully applied scale designs, and even foil in attempt to mimic nature. They were trying to capture the same flash seen from bait fish when darting to elude their predators. Rebel Hedden Cordell has done it through research with leading fisheries biologist. Guanine, the substance that is comprised of certain acids and genetic materials, was found to be the building block responsible for the changing pearlescent appearance of a fish's scales. Rebel Head and Cordell engineers and colors have been able to recreate the same iridescent and reflective quality that guanine can give to a fish's scales. It is done with the use of carefully blended man-made pigments and luminescent elements. The G in G finish captures all available light to generate a reflective line of light from one end of the lure to the other. The width of the reflective line broadens or narrows depending on the direction and intensity of the light source. Even the slightest movement of the lure will produce a flash with the brilliance of a strobe light. To fully appreciate the tremendous breakthrough in lure finishes, the G finish lures should be seen in natural light or better yet, doing what they do best, catching fish. Well, that is a pretty uh, interesting introduction to G finish, and I had no idea the G stood for guanine, which actually is a root word of guano, i.e. <laughs> bird poop. <laughs> Not sure the connection there, but, but that is pretty cool. So looking at the initial line of G finish baits, there were a couple of really notable ones, some of which that have disappeared uh, to time, others that are still available today. So of course there is a G finish Zara Spook on this page in a couple of classic colors. Uh, one is the Shad and also the Blue Shad. Uh, there's also a couple of G finish Tiny Torpedoes, again in those same two colors. And the G-Finish went to some other lures that are no longer available either in G-Finish or even available at all for that matter. Uh, the G-Finish Ripplin Redfin was uh, offered in a Smoky Joe and a Gold Orange. The G-Finish Rattling Spot back then was offered in a Smoky Joe and a G-Finish Crawfish, which I would love to see in person. There were also a number of great G-Finish baits from Rebel including the G-Finish Spoonbill Minnow, the Fast Track Minnow, and also the Fast Track We Are. I do have a couple of these G-Finish baits on hand that I will show you, some of which are still available today, some of which are not. Here's probably one of my all-time favorite colors from Hedden, the Blue Shad G-Finish. This is just a great, great looking bait. I've always loved this color, either in a, a Head and Zara Spook or a Torpedo. It has got a really nice blue back, pink side, and white belly. 
and it does have that G finish iridescence to it. What a, what a classic, classic bait that from 1988 until today is still available. Even though they actually don't mention G finish in the name, it is 100% the same G finish of old. Another classic G finish bait that I've always liked is this one, uh, the Head In Baby Torpedo. And this is in that straight up shad pattern. What a, what a great uh, G finish bait this one is. It's got a black back, white belly, a naturalized bait fish finish, and a little bit of uh, sort of yellow at the nose. Now there are some other G finish baits that I happen to have in my collection. Even though they may not have said G finish in the color, clearly uh, this is what it is. Here's one, a classic Rebel Popper in a G finish pattern. I forget the name of this one. This one it might even be still available today. Sort of a perch or a bluegill looking pattern with a white belly. And it even has a little bit of G finish in the nose section. Here is a, uh, an oldie but a goodie. A Cotton Cordell rattle spot, actually a Bill Dance signature rattle spot. This is a pretty unique G finish color that you don't see anymore. And man, one that I kind of wish they did still make. And you can see right there it says rattle spot on it. It's got a black back, yellow sides, and a yellow belly. Let's see what else I've got in the G Finish variety in my old uh, Umco tackle box. Here is one, a deep diving, uh, it is a 10 to 15. Uh, this might be a fast track from Rebel. And this one's pretty cool because it actually even says G Finish on the body. Which I kind of wish they did that for all the G Finishes to be honest with you. This is a really nice one. It's got a chartreuse back, which I love, white side, and belly with some nice red eyes. I've also got this one. This is a pretty cool one. This is a Rebel uh, G Finish Minnow. And I love the G Finish logo <laughs> or the Guano Finish logo as well as the G Finish on the side of this bait. And last but not least, man, here is one that I might have to bust open at some point. Notice a little bit uh, of a different G finish emblem on this. And this is a rather unique and discontinued drop Zara Spook. There's a little bit of a story behind this bait. And at some point I might bust one of these open and show you how this thing works. Like I said, there are still a number of G finish options available on the Lornet website. Uh, on the Zara Spook side, they've got a couple different ones. They've got the blue shad, they've got a red head, and they've also got the standard shad pattern. All those colors are also available in the baby and tiny torpedoes with the addition of a G finish baby bass or bronze back, which is super, super cool. All that to say that G finish never did really go away, even though it, the colors may not have had the G finish in the name. But all that recently changed thanks to a introduction that I happen to stumble upon on the Lornet website. I actually follow those folks on Instagram and all of a sudden I saw a notification for a set of three new G Finish Big O's. Now I of course had to order those like I generally do and I picked up these three baits and man I'm so glad that I did. So I'm gonna go ahead and crack these open and we'll kind of do a head to head to see how the G finish of new compares to the G finish of old. Now these three baits are in the 7700 size, which is the two inch size. And it's actually one of only two big O's that Cotton Cordell still makes. They make this 7700 as well as the smaller 7600. Uh, overall, I think this is a great size, although I do wish they would introduce some of the larger old school and discontinued sizes of the Big O, including the 7800 as well as the 8000. And I've got a couple of those baits to do a size comparison. So let's go ahead and check these out. So they are available in three different quote unquote G finish colors. 
And let's go ahead and bust open one that looks perhaps a, a little bit familiar, and that is this, the Chartreuse Back G-Finish Big O. Let's go ahead and see what it says about this bait on the back. Like most things in life, you'll find more in the middle. That's why these crankbaits are fish magnets. They'll be in the zone where fish live most of the time. Whether you cast or troll, cover as much of this zone as you can, because sooner or later you will find fish. <laughs> so here we go. This is my first look at one of the new G Finish baits out of the package. Ooh, let's get this thing in focus. That is a honey of a little crankbait. So this is a good looking little bait for sure. It's got a nice chartreuse back, white side. Does have a little red on the chin. Oh man, that is, that is super cool. And because I've got actually a Rebel in a similar G-Finish pattern, we can hold the two of these side by side and sort of see how that uh, luminescence compares. So obviously this one, uh, the Rebel has aged a little bit with time, but overall, boy, uh, that actually is pretty close. Uh, I think Frank Scalish helped them develop the color on this and he absolutely nailed the old school G finish pattern on this one. So that is uh, super cool. Yep, the sides look the same. That chartreuse, I would say that actually looks like, let me focus here. I feel like that chartreuse is actually popping a little bit more on the new version, which is not a bad thing. And I do like that addition of the red on the chin. So that is the first of three G Finish Big O's. All right, let's go with the next, uh, a very classic color, a G Finish in the Smoky Joe. So I'll go ahead and crack this thing open and give you a look at it on the camera. Ooh, that is a good looking little bait as well. Just a really classic bait fish pattern. Black back, not too much, pretty narrow stripe of a black back. Nice side. And again, a little bit of red on the chin. That is a, uh, a good looking bait. Man, I am so glad they came back out with that. And absolutely, you can tell, uh, hopefully you can appreciate that on camera that that is a G finish bait. All right, so let's open the third and final G finish Big O. And this is one I was actually really excited to pick up because it's in a color that I actually don't have any baits in. And it is in a G finish purple back. So this is a cool one, almost sort of looks like a royal shad a little bit minus the yellow or chartreuse. Let's get this guy open. Oh, all right, all right. Actually, that is much more of a royal, and uh, you'll see this once they flip it over to the bottom. So, pretty classic G finish side, really nice luminescent purple back. But check out the bottom of this. Oh, that is super cool. A little bit of an orange chin into a chartreuse belly. So, there is a lot going on on this bait for sure. And if I hit the lake, probably this would be the first of the three I would throw just because I'd be really curious to see how this bait looked and performed in the water. Both sides, as you can see, are the same in that 7700 series. So let's go ahead and look at a couple of different sizes of Big O, both available and discontinued, so you can get a sort of an idea of what this bait looks like. Uh, and also, hopefully, I can maybe lobby Pradco to release some of the, uh, we'll call them temporarily discontinued sizes of the Big O. So here we have that 7700, and I'm gonna compare it to this, which is a 7600. This is actually a bait I picked up from the Lornet website. This was one of their paint shop limited run colors, and I'm actually saving this particular Big O for my buddy Mark Ng over at the Big O Connection. But you can see this one's more of an ultralight model. I'm not gonna open this one because it's a gift for Mark. And then here is that two inch 7700. Okay, let's go ahead and compare the 7700 with the next size up, which is the 7800. So this one is a two and a half inch Big O instead of a two inch. 
It definitely has a little bit more heft to it. And I gotta tell you, if there was one size of Big O I could throw, it probably would be the bigger model. I just like this for a lot of reasons. I, I like a little bigger crankbait myself. Not too, too big. I don't wanna throw a pork chop, uh, but sometimes I feel like this one might be a little bit small for the uh, Texas and Florida waters that I fish. So here is the next one up, the 7800. And then let's go ahead and look at the 8000. Okay, now I'm gonna go ahead and compare the next size up, which is the 8000 next to the 7700. This one is a full inch bigger and boy, it looks it. This is more of the classic old school Big O, and it's more comparable to the original sizes of the Big O that Fred C. Young carved himself. And I've actually got one of those as well. I'll show you a little bit of a side-by-side. -side. But this is the one where I think there was an early Bassmaster fisherman said that throwing this is a lot like throwing a pork chop, and you can believe it. This is a, a whole lot of crankbait. Still a cool one, and still one that I, I wish they came back out with. Okay, well, real quick, we're gonna compare this Big O 8000 to this one, which is a Fred C. Young original I received courtesy of Mark Ng, one that I'm gonna throw one day. And you can see, yeah, these two baits are definitely pretty comparable in size, and man, late years bigger than that Big O that is available today. So the three Big O's in question are available on the LoreNet website for $7.99. And let us see what the Prago folks had to say about those baits. The legendary Cotton Cordell Big O has been adorned in three once in a lifetime G finish paint schemes created exclusively for the Lornet community. G finish is an incredibly delicate painting technique that combines pearls and other luminescent colors with a clear dip, which creates a surface of the lure that refracts even the smallest amounts of light, creating a true bait fish like flash. Each Big O color was developed by our custom paint aficionado, Frank Scalish, to give anglers the ultimate colors for shallow cranking. Frank loves G-Finish because of its ability to match the luminescence of a fish's scales as it contorts in the water, leading to more strikes. Well, needless to say, I cannot wait to get these three baits on the water. And yeah, I'm still pretty sure the Pearlback is gonna be the first one that I throw. Well, go ahead and drop a comment down in the comment section. Let me know which discontinued G-Fish color you would like to see next from Pradco, as well as any suggestions for some discontinued Pradco brand baits that you would like to see them bring back. I know for a fact that the Pradco folks watch this channel, so definitely a great chance to let them know what you wanna see. I definitely have some ideas for that myself. Until next time, if you guys are looking for some more old school content, well, you can click right here. Otherwise, I'll see you right back here, same time, same place. Until then, keep that carpet side up, watch the guano, and definitely fish it old school. Fishing it old school, this old stuff rules. Welcome to Retro Bassoon.